Hi guys, Charles here, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson we're going to be looking at the diminished chord. A diminished chord is a less common chord, it's not one we use all the time, but when we do see it, it's very tempting to just go for the classic diminished shape. Now doing that is absolutely fine. Most of the time a diminished chord is a passing chord anyway, so we don't spend too much time on it. In today's lesson I'm going to show you three ways that you can make your diminished chords a little bit more interesting. These are also just interesting theoretical concepts that might help to tie a few harmonic devices together for you in your mind. Let's get to it! Now the first way to decorate a diminished chord, many of you probably know this one already, but for the sake of those who don't, the diminished chord is what we call a symmetrical chord. Now what that basically means is that the notes are all the same distance apart within the chord, so we can move the shape around the guitar without having to change the shape itself. Now the way to do that with the diminished chord shape is to simply add three frets. Now we're going to start with this bog standard chord shape here, 7, 8, 6, 8 on the middle four strings. So to move this chord around, I simply add three to the fret number. I'm currently on fret seven, so I'm now gonna slide up to fret 10. Plus three, fret 13. Plus three, fret 16. Plus three, all the way up to fret 19, which is back where I started in terms of the notes. As I'm on the 7th fret, this is an E diminished chord, so I'm going to put a pedal E note underneath it so you can hear how this works. Now staying on this first concept, we can take it a little bit further. Instead of just going up 3 frets, we can move up through the diminished scale, which is tone, semitone tone, semitone, or whole step, half step, whole step, half step, or two frets, one fret, two frets, one fret. Let's see how that sounds. I'm on seven, I move up two frets, nine. One fret, ten. Two frets, twelve. Thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. So see how you get on with that first idea. The second way to spice up your diminished chords is to modify the notes within the chord. A great way to do this is to lower one note at a time of the diminished chord shape. This really highlights the fact that a diminished chord really functions as a dominant 7 chord. Let's have a little look at that. So I'm back on my diminished chord shape here, 7, 8, 6, 8. And I'm just going to lower my lowest notes. So instead of 7, 8, 6, 8, I'm going to go 6, 8, 6, 8, which gives me this familiar A7 chord shape. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, but instead of lowering the bottom note, I'm going to lower the second note up. So I'm currently on 7, 8, 6, 8. It's going to become 7, 7, 6, 8. which gives me that familiar E7 chord shape, this one. Same thing again, but this time lowering the third note in our voicing. So 7, 8, 6, 8 becomes 7, 8, 5, 8. That chord there is a really great 7 chord that is quite underused, really. And finally, let's try experimenting with lowering the top note of our voicing. So we're currently on 7, 8, 6, 8 which will become 7, 8, 6, 7. We know we can move three frets up each time, as we learned in the first concept. So how about every time we move up three frets, we also flatten one of those notes? And let's change each time. So we're going to start here, 7, 8, 6, 8, and I'm going to flatten that to 6, 8, 6, 8. And then going to move up three frets from the original position, so I'm now on fret 10. second note up, add three frets, and I've lowered the 
third note up, add three frets. And I've lowered the top note. And that's a really interesting way to move through that diminished tonality. The third and final concept is to swap out that classic diminished voicing for a slightly more modern, more hip, more fusion voicing. And there's two voicings in particular that live within the diminished scale that give us a really great sound. So let's have a little look at that. So the first voicing, which is underused but gives us a really great modern sound, is instead of playing our 7868 voicing, we're going to go 7888. Now this gives us an A major shape, giving us an E flat chord, but with a flattened 9. So we've got this E note at the bottom here, so we've got 7, 8, 8, 8, which I personally play with a bar. So we could simply add that in as a decoration or a movement from the basic diminished chord, which would sound like this. We can also add a second chord that lives within the diminished scale, which is the minor 7 flat 5. Now this lives a tone higher than your diminished chord. Now we've been building our diminished chord on the 7th fret of the A string, which gives us an E diminished. We're going to slide that up to the 9th fret, which is a tone above, and on the second note of our diminished scale we're going to play a minor 7 flat 5. 9 10 9 10 is the most common voicing of this. Now by swapping between these two voicings, going tone, semitone, tone, semitone, we can play the entire diminished scale, which sounds like this. So experiment with those three concepts on a diminished chord. As I said at the beginning, a diminished chord doesn't often get that much stage time. However, hopefully whenever you see one in the future, you'll be able to add a variation on it rather than just going for the classic diminished chord shape. I particularly like the modern sounds at the end. I think they're a nice variation on the diminished chord without getting too far away from it. It's still very recognizably diminished, but it's got that hip sound that a lot of the modern players use. If you enjoyed the video, please do give me the like, the subscribe, and ding that notification bell. It makes a massive difference to the channel. I'm nearly on 2.5 thousand subscribers, which is just unbelievable for me. So thank you very much for those people who are supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to share this content with any of your friends, that really goes a long way to obviously doubling my numbers. If each of you shared it, that would really make a big difference. I hope you're all doing well and you're getting lots of practice done. And I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Roll up, roll up, let me embed a story you'll never forget. A drip, drip, a drowning in debt now. You can't buy your way out. And